Yo, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon X. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we made it here to Camp for Your Town, and today we're going to continue our adventure from this point. Now, if you guys remember, they told us that we should go and check out the palace because there was something special going on around here. Hi, Rodri. An acquaintance of yours to visit us to Shabanu Castle. I can't remember the last time we've been so busy. This castle chateau, if you will, was a manor house of a noble family. It may be a little run down, but that's because there's history to this place. During that history, the owners of this castle gave away a lot of their stuff to everyone. So that's why it feels so empty. The end. That's it. Don't you have anything related to Mega Evolution? That's it. When in the world is Mega Evolution? <laughs> Sir, it's back again. Is it that time of year already? Well, there's nothing I can do about that now. I need to go to Route 7, but please take your time and have a look around. Alright, so I guess they're telling us to look around here. I wonder what that's about. Um, but I think we need to go to Route 7 too. I'm gonna take a quick look around this place. I just kinda wanna explore it a little bit. I don't know what there is. Alright, yeah. You know what? I, I honestly don't know if there's anything we need to do here. Let's go straight to Route 7 then and see if there's anything that we need to take care of. Now, as you can see, on the bottom screen, there seems to be a couple things. And I've been kind of messing around with it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look. We made it to Route 7. Uh, and wow, there's a Snorlax there. What the heck's it doing? Here we go again. It's sleeping so soundly. The end of the world wouldn't wake it. Look, it's practically a mountain, right? It's blocking the road completely. Come now, sir. Use the poker flute. Oh, wait. Do you even have it anymore? Nope. I handed it over. Or you could say it was taken by the owner of the palace. What, huh? What's a poker flute? Basically, the poker flute is what we need to wake up Snorlax. But the poker flute is currently a Parfum Palace. Okay, so that's the place that a lot of you guys told me where we need to go. Uh, Parfum Palace is where we will be obtaining the poker flute. Which will allow us to wake up Snorlax and continue on. It's actually been a long time since I think the Poke Flute has been used. Um, and it's kind of an exciting time um, that it is being used again in this game. Let me go ahead and dodge these guys. What the heck is this? Wait, what just popped out at me? I didn't know Pokemon popped out of bushes in this game. Oh, it's an Audino. Well, not, uh, not much time for that. I'm going to go ahead and skip over the Audino. And we'll be able to continue on. Because anyways, I'm pretty sure we have another battle coming up if I'm correct. Um, right up here. So we dodged it. Okay. Um, I guess we're just going to continue skating onwards. And making our way here to Parfum Palace. What a peaceful little looking area. So let's go ahead and walk inside the gates. Entrance fee will be one thousand poke dollars per person. You've got to be kidding! It costs money to go inside. You see, the owner of the palace follows the school of thought that you can never have too much money. Yes, this is how we get the richer, richer. Here's your entrance fee. Uh, well, why do we have to pay to go inside the palace to obtain an item that was ours or uh, one of the one of the guys we know? I have no idea. Let's continue on then, guys. Wow, look how beautiful that is, though. I'm kind of excited to kind of go in here. It's it's kind of crazy when you do take a look around. Uh, about how beautiful this game is and and how amazing some of the parts in this are I can't even wait till we make it to the next gym, which I think we're actually pretty close to and I think the next gym is actually gonna be uh, a Very very nice looking one. I don't really know what it what it's gonna entail I don't know much about it, but um, I think we're all gonna have a blast with it Where is it? Where could it be? My full fruit my beloved little full fruit has disappeared. It disappeared? Hey, Rodri. We should help look. All right. We're going to be looking for a fur fruit. Now, I think that's a Pokemon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and guess it's a Pokemon. I don't know. But since uh, it has a weird name, I'm guessing we're going to have to find it. And wow, look how beautiful this area is. A little bridge. Uh, where are we exactly? I'll have a look in back. I don't know. This is nice, though. It seems like we're in a, we're in a little garden. Uh, I, I'm kind of... Whoa. Reshiram? What the heck? Why Why is there a statue of Reshiram located here? Okay, so for some reason, we're looking for this fur fru. Um, I don't know where exactly this fur fru is, but I'm going to try my best and find it. Um, hopefully, it's somewhere around here. I'm just going to keep running around. Ooh, a Pokeball. I, I could always use that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Why not? So, for some reason, we're at a rich guy's area helping him find his fur fru because apparently... We, we don't have time to do other things these days. We're just helping helping people and being nice. Whoa, is that it? What is that? 
Please don't run away. Rodri, give me a hand. Okay, so I think we found the fur fru, uh, and we, we are leading it to a dead end. Now, oh man, I feel like this is going to be one of those puzzle challenges where like, I, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm going to be getting lost and like confused. All right, uh, I'm pretty sure we talked to her and uh, leave her stuck somewhere. Huh, he's there. What the heck do I do here? Uh, I'm going to go, how do, how do I make him run up? If we got to get him boxed in, yo, run up, run up. Run up! No! No! Little dog, little poodle, I want you to run the other way! Why are you- Why are you running to the side? Run up! Run- you Run up! Okay, I'm gonna leave her- Hmm. Where should I leave this girl at? I think I'm gonna leave her here. I know we gotta get him up there, so I, that's what I'm gonna try to do. Yeah. You sit here. Sit tight. I'm gonna go ahead and run around with this guy, and hopefully we can, uh, you know, push him- Push him in the right direction. What? Are you seriously just running in a circle? Dude, what? What, what do you think? I know it's a puzzle. I'm trying to chase down a dog. Do you know how hard it is to chase down a dog? Okay, let me go ahead and talk to her again then. Um, and I'm going to go put her in a different place. I'm going to go put her... Yeah, I'm going to go put her in her place. You know what I'm saying, guys? Uh, no, I'm going to leave her right here this time. Maybe that's what it does? All right. All right, you chill here. You chill here. I'm going to go over here. There we go. Hey, there we go. I think I got it. Um, we're close. We're close. We're close. Now I'm going to go get her. Let me see. Come here. Come with me. Got, yep, 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 yep. Yep, you, you, come here. Talk, come with me. All right. Now I'm going to leave her here. And then I'm thinking if I come from the other side, we should have that little dog thing boxed in. Because uh, this is my genius mentality behind it. And there we go. We boxed him in. Not too hard. Phew, well done. We finally caught it. Rodri, you're amazing. We caught it because you understand how Pokemon feel. Or because I just got lucky boxing it in. Oh, my dear Forfru, my beloved Forfru. Could you be the two responsible for my wonderful reunion with my dear Forfru? How wonderful indeed. It's marvelous, simply marvelous. A situation like this demands fireworks. We shall put on a show. Boom, boom. My Pokemon and I are reunited. Our bond has been proven. We'll commemorate this joyous occasion with a tremendous fireworks display. And it will also serve as a reward for the tiny bit of trouble you went to. Rendezvous at the balcony. Do you understand? Rendezvous. You can reach the balcony from the hall with miners on the second floor. So there are halls with miners. I mean, it seems like his backyard is full of miners right now, too. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We're, we're nine years old, ten years old, running around with our Pokemon. No? No one gets it? You know, this was one of those things I was actually talking to someone about. And I always, I always tell these, you know, amazing, hilarious jokes, but no one ever laughs at them. I don't know why. I think the jokes are absolutely funny. I think, um, I think I have an amazing sense of humor where my jokes just, ha, ah, they just, you know, get out. Wow, HM01 cut! Sick! Um, there we go. We got the first HM. Didn't even think we were going to find it there. But as I was saying, I think my jokes are pretty dang funny. But no one, no one ever appreciates them. <laughs> no one ever gives me enough credit for my jokes. All right, I'm going to continue meeting other players because I'm not meeting any other friends elsewhere. Let's run inside. Is that a Golurk, by the way? I think it was. Um, and, and let's find... Where exactly these fireworks are going to be? Because, uh, you know, we're trying to light up some fireworks. Back in the day, in El Salvador, I used to light up fireworks all the time for New Year's, Christmas. Never been burned with fireworks. Going to knock on wood for that one. Because um, I think I think it can be a very scary situation. Not a situation I would want to be in. I used to hear that a lot of people would, like, burn themselves with fireworks and stuff. And always kind of creep me out. But then I was like, oh, yeah. Never did. Never did. Um, you know, I've never watched fireworks alone with a boy before. We haven't even seen them yet, but I know I'll never forget these fireworks, because I watched them with you, Rodri. It was amazing! I never want to forget this, so I'll keep this memory in an album in my heart. And then my wonderful fireworks show for my fru fru. I assume you're satisfied with that. Oh! I almost forgot! 
The poker flute. Yes, talk to him. Get us the poker flute. Do you realize we came all this way? We traveled through mountains and castles. And no, we didn't. We, we kind of just came over here and, and talked to the rich guy, found his dog. Just, you know, hook us up with a poker flute, my man. There we go. We obtained it, guys. And I think now we're ready to head all the way back and actually wake up that Snorlax, which is kind of exciting. Thanks for the poker flute, my man. Uh, we, we, we had a nice time here. We got to share special experiences with this lovely lady over here. Um, ooh, he's telling us about poke evolutions. I remember reading a book on that subject in the palace library. It had something to do with uh, what you'd know called trainer holding a mysterious stone high and making Pokemon evolve even further. You know, there seems to be something, something weird going on about mega evolutions. Um, and I think it has something to do with that stone that Professor Sycamore gave us. Um, and maybe even something having to do with the Squirtle that we recently added to our team. Huh. The owner of Shibanu Castle used to be friends with that guy. Can you believe it? Isn't that crazy? We have to be sure to get that flute back after we bake up Snorlax. All right, guys, let's get out of here then. Time for us to go wake up Snorlax. I mean, that's kind of what we've been waiting for, right? To be able to proceed on the route, wake up Snorlax, continue on, see what's going on. Now, I'm thinking that I don't know how many Snorlax there are going to be in this game. Um, and it's actually the first time we've seen a Snorlax in, like, a long freaking time like the one thing i like about this game that i've slowly began to realize is that they brought a lot of le elements from other games into it and it just kind of makes me happy to get to see the poke flute and, and snorlax and little things like that that i haven't seen since uh, a couple gens ago and to be able to see them here again warms my heart a little bit guys warms my cold hearted 10 year old pokey heart um all right i'm gonna keep on moving then where were these guys that I had to battle? Because I... Mother fudge! Why do you always gotta pop out at me? Now look! It's, it's another Audino, man. Ooh, what the heck is that? A Venipede. Um, nah, I'm all good. I'm all good, Venipede. You, you can leave me alone. You can leave me alone here. All right. Let's continue onwards then. And uh, hopefully we can make our way to the Snorlax um, without too much... Oh my gosh, I almost battled the crap out of that trainer. I don't want to battle. Mother fudge. Where am I stuck? Go, go, go. There we go. <laughs> I thought we were going to be stuck battling one of those guys. Um, I'll probably come back and battle them later just for some experience. But for now, I really want to wake up this Snorlax. Oh, it's you two. Did you actually manage to borrow the Poker Flute? Yes, we did. Well, you're the only one who can play it, right? Snorlax can be grumpy when it wakes up. It might attack. I'll play the fruit right now, but are you ready to stop it? Then we're definitely ready. Feels nice to have this fruit in my hands again. Okay, I guess I'll start playing. Snorlax opened its eyes wide. Okay, guys, so here we go. It looks like we're going to be taking on... Snorlax, let's go ahead and whoa, he's a big dude, big looking fellow. I, I like how it's nighttime, but we're sitting here waking him up. I mean, what kind of what kind of nice friends are we that we're waking up this poor Snorlax? I'm gonna go for the flame charge. Um, I am gonna try to catch it. Why not? Um, I've gotten a lot of advice on add as many Pokemon to your team as possible. Um, so that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to add as many as we can to our team, and then hopefully, you know, we'll cut it down to the team that we're really gonna use later on. But for now. I'm just going to try to weaken it and catch it. We do nothing. Wow. Like, absolutely nothing to this Snorlax. What the heck? And it paralyzed us. Why, dude? I'm just I'm just trying to be nice. Let me drop the side beam then. No, 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 no. Take it easy. Holy crap. No, why? Fox. Oh, my gosh. I'm going for another side beam then. Come on. No, amnesia. Really, dude? Oh, my gosh. He's going to be a tank. This guy's going to be an absolute tank. Wow. Holy mother of lord. We do like no damage to Snorlax. Um, and he's just sitting here ripping us a new one. I guess it's just going to take a lot of scratches and um, a matter of time here. Uh, gosh, this is really going to suck. We also don't have a fighting type move that will be effective against it since it's a normal type. Um, and Fox is about to go down. Um, you know what? If Fox goes down, that's fine. I have other Pokemon ready to go right now. Um, and I think it'd be a better idea to actually get... Uh, maybe Zool out here or, uh, or one of the other Pokemon because Fox is doing pretty much Not a whole lot of damage and Snorlax is just defense curling the crap up You know, maybe I shouldn't even weaken it that much. You know what? I'm just I'm oh my gosh. What is that? A berry you mother fudging Snorlax. All right. I kind of just want to take it down now. Honestly. No Fox is down. I Oh Snorlax Snorlax, you dirty bastard. 
You dirty, sick bastard. Let's bring out Zula then. And then we're going to go ahead and take this guy on. All right, we got this. I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling it this time. I'm going to go for the water gun. I don't think I don't think we're even going to be able to take this guy down. I'm about to Oh my. I'm going to start throwing pokeballs. Um I I think we can probably catch him in a pokeball um at, at this level. That was a crit. Wow. Uh so let's just go ahead and throw some out. We might be able to catch it. It's only level 15. We don't have great balls or anything. Um but you know what? Screw it. Let's give it a shot. We might be able to catch him early. Um, this isn't a legendary or anything, so he can't be he can't be that crazy juiced. You know, I don't expect him to be a, a, a ridiculous psycho. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and pound him back with another Pokeball. Come on, dude. Just stay in there already. I'm kinda just trying to add you to the team. You know, I'm trying to be I'm trying to be real nice here. I'm trying to be a nice guy and just uh mother fudger! Oh my gosh, I hate Snorlax. I really do. Oh my gosh, we're gonna black out. We don't have revives. We are gonna black out for the first time. In this game, we are going to black the fudge out. I'm going to go ahead and throw out another Pokeball then. Um, and hopefully, hopefully this will do the magic, guys. Um, I mean, I guess we're about to find out here. And nope. Oh, all right. So when we die, uh, this is going to be a fun time. This is going to be a real fun time here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and throw out another Pokeball. So there we go. It took a long time. Uh, we only had one Pokeball left, but we finally caught the Snorlax. And um, that was a very stubborn, very, very stubborn Snorlax. No, no, we don't want to learn agility. We'll be good. Uh, we're going to keep our old moves. We're going to give up on learning agility. Uh, but with that, guys, we have grown. We, we got XP from catching a Pokemon? Uh, well, that's kind of interesting. We just got ourselves Snorlax, the normal type Pokemon. It is not satisfied unless it eats over 880 pounds of food every day. When it is done eating, it goes promptly to sleep. Let's go ahead and give this guy a nickname. Um, I don't really know what to give it a nickname. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, call it something that pretty much I, I don't even know. We're going to call it Snorri. Snorri the Snorlax. Um, so welcome to the team. Uh, we're going to be using him for a bit probably. And then we'll see what happens from there. Awesome, you got Snorlax. Oh. The only thing I can do with that Pokeflu is put it on display. But you've been playing since you were little and the tone is lovely. Seems like my Furfru also likes the sound of that flute. Not as much as it likes my beautiful Wonderfru fireworks, of course. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Still, your playing sounded better back in the day. I'll let you take care of that flute, so be sure to practice more. Thanks, man. Thanks for coming by and letting us know that. And we'll be seeing you guys later, I guess. Was that supposed to be an attempt to patch things up? Well, whatever. All's well that ends well. I wonder what lies past where Snorlax was sleeping. All right, guys, so with that, we are going to continue from this point next time, and we will find out what lies on the other side of the bridge. If you guys have any tips or comments, let me know. Make sure to like the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.